In this video, we will be deploying a development environment with Garden. What we're looking at here is the Vote example project, which you can also find in our GitHub repo. This project consists of several application services for voting and for viewing the results, a database for storing the votes, and a message queue for processing the votes in real time. To deploy this project from the ground up, several things need to happen. The database needs to be up and running, its schema initialized, seed it with test data, and then all of the application services need to be built at the correct version and then deployed in the correct dependency order. Thankfully, because I've configured this project with Garden, all I have to do is run Garden Deploy. Now, Garden will figure out which services need to be rebuilt, which ones are at the same version as during the last build. It will make sure that the database is up and running, that it has been seeded with the schema and test data, and then it will deploy all of the services in the stack in the correct dependency order. It will also use the dynamically generated host names for the services endpoints that I've specified in my project configuration, which means that as I'm working on my code, I can view these live endpoints to see the latest user interface changes that I've been making. Note that none of this is using local Docker or local Kubernetes. I actually don't have Docker or Kubernetes running on my laptop as I'm making this demo. This is all running in a remote Kubernetes cluster that I'm sharing with the other developers on my team.